My name is Stephen Ostad, and I'm uh, what I call a biogerontologist. That is, I study why and how things age. I got into this uh, from a strange perspective. I was a field biologist, and I was interested in social behavior, and for completely unrelated reasons, I was studying opossums in South America. And for that study, I had to recapture my opossums every month. And I suddenly realized that they were aging at this phenomenal rate. I'd catch them, they'd look great, they were healthy adults, I'd catch them three months later, they looked horrible. They had parasites, they had arthritis, they had cataracts, they were falling apart. I thought, I thought that, that's a really interesting question. Why would opossums age so fast relative to other things that seem superficially like opossums, like say a house cat, ages much, much more slowly. There's a complicated relationship between body size and, and, and longevity. That is, if you look at across animals generally, the smaller you are, the shorter lived you are. Now, the other interesting thing is that within a species, there is some evidence that smaller animals live longer. And uh, this is a great hope for those of us who are not too big uh, to begin with in humans. We don't know if that's true with humans. The, the data are a mess. But in mice, if you make them smaller by restricting their diet, or by altering them genetically, so they live longer. Traditionally, there are about three animals that get used for 99% of medical research. You know, mice, fruit flies, uh, rats, but all of those things, when it comes to aging, have one characteristic, which is they don't age very well. <laughs> you know, they live, they're short lived that's why people study. My attitude is that um, nature is smarter than we are. So I look at animals that are exceptionally successful at aging, birds, bats, naked mole rats, things that people know little about except they live a really long time. If you calculate it the right way, they actually live longer than we do. And by that I mean a lot of people think that oxygen is involved in aging. It produces these things called free radicals which are really damaging to ourselves. If you actually look at how much oxygen a bird or a bat processes in its lifetime, it's way more than humans are. So if there are novel mechanisms for preventing this kind of damage or fixing it, that's a place that we might be able to find that.